I was doing um, a photo shoot for the Red Sox souvenir store and um, they had just asked me to be their, their new spokesmodel for the new um, college clothing line. So we came here today, a couple hour photo shoot and took a bunch of pictures with the hats and tank tops and pajamas. Favorite outfit was definitely the tank top and the shorts. It was very comfortable. Um, the clothing is really light, and I feel like you could wear it. You, know, you can layer up if it's cold out, or you can just keep the light layers um, if you go to the gym to work out, or even just lounging around. But um, all the outfits were really comfortable. The, the flannels were very comfortable too, but it's you know September, so I'm not really ready to be in flannels yet. But everything felt great. Oh, definitely female friendly, yeah. Um, some of the hats we had on are the new female line that are coming out, so you don't look like you have, you know, a big cone on your head like some of the men's hats. And the, the clothing was actually very flattering. Um, even though it is kind of on the fitness side and supposed to be loose, it still had a very flattering fit. And the way the color designs were going, like the red with the white stripes down the side, it made that slender look. So um, a lot of the times clothing is geared, especially um, team paraphernalia, it's geared all towards men, but there's this, this line is really comfortable and, and feels nice on women too. Pink hats, to me it's a no-no, but <laughs> I think they look really cute on. I think little girls that wear the pink, it looks nice, and I understand why a lot of women want that pink look. I mean, pink's a very popular color for women, but um, personally, I love the authentic red for the Red Sox or the navy blue with the red B on it. The whole photo shoot thing is something that's very new. Um, even when I was in Rhode Island on NBC on the weekend, uh, do weekend sports anchoring, weekday reporting, I only had probably one photo shoot down there. Since coming to Boston, I think and it's, it has a lot to do with this market too because people recognize you. When you cover the Red Sox, you cover the Patriots, the Celtics, and the Bruins, people identify with you. So it makes sense to try and promote product, try and promote the team products, um, and you're a recognizable face in that sense. But no, growing up wanting to be a sports anchor, I mean, I strictly wanted to do it because of what it entailed, the journalistic side of it. I never thought I would imagine photo shoots with it too. Well, born and raised, I summered up in New England, so I constantly followed the Red Sox games. Um, I followed a lot of baseball growing up, but now, of course, covering the team for the past three years, four years, actually, it's definitely become second nature to me to root for them, and, and you want to see them do well, and in turn, you know, our coverage gets better, and I get more um, fun opportunities to cover championships and that kind of thing, so I definitely root for them when they're, when they're playing. I'll never say. <laughs> I, um, my family, you know, grew up. We grew up in North, northern New Jersey, and I went to a ton of Yankee games growing up. Um, I wasn't like absolutely diehard Yankees fan, but when it's right there in your backyard, it's very easy. It's fun. Yankee Stadium is so historic and so amazing to go see a game at, much like Fenway Park, and you really have to appreciate that in itself and and the history surrounding the team, just like you do here with the Red Sox. <laughs>